Welcome to this video on controlling an O-Drive with LabView. Here you can see the O-Drive and the Arduino port. Here you can see the baud rate of the Arduino. First they get opened and they enter the main loop. After they enter the main loop, the Arduino sensors get read. So here you can see the code for that. So it waits for 2 milliseconds because the data needs to come in. And it reads the data that has come in and it splits them by a comma, so it's comma separated, and it puts them into an array. This array gets split up again right here, and it enters this sensor selection. So if you choose load cell, you get the first value. For temperature sensor, you get the second value, and so on. There are also virtual inputs like the slider and the numeric value. These values enter the mapping function I made, this takes a minimum and a maximum input and converts it into a minimum and a maximum output. So for example, the sensor has a value between 1 and 10 and the output should be between 50 and 100, for example. You can also enter negative values. This value gets sent to this loop and this only gets run when this output is set to true. So you can pause the output. When it's set to true, you can choose between position, velocity, and torque control. And these are sub VIs I made to control the O drive. So if you go into this sub VI, you can see here is the string that gets sent to the O drive. To understand the string, you need to look in the docs of the O drive. As always, my code will be on GitHub. And when I make changes, I will also put them on GitHub. And at the end, the O drive gets closed, so it opens here and it gets sent to this, and then it closes again. Here, if you hit the reboot button, the O drive will reboot. You normally won't need this, but if you do, you can use it. And at the end, when you click the stop button to stop the main loop, the velocity will be set to zero, so the motor will stop rotating, and the Arduino also gets closed. So that was it for the code. I will now do a short demonstration of how it works. So here in the front panel, you have the start menu, settings menu, and the debug menu. In the settings menu, you can change the velocity and the motor current limit. You can change the baud rate and you can reboot the O-Drive. To explain these settings, I will just give some examples. So the microcontroller is on COM port 10 and the O-Drive is on COM port 9. For this example, I'm going to use a potentiometer. This has a minimum input of 0 and a maximum of 1000. I want to use position control. The O-Drive is on COM port 9. I want a minimum output of 0 and a maximum output of 10. Then I can enable the output. Now I can turn the potentiometer and the motor will move to that position. There is a small delay on there, but that's no problem. Now I can turn the out back off. I will move this to zero first. Just like that. Now I can change this to the numeric value. Change this to 10. And when I now turn the output back on, I can move the position with the numeric value. Now I can turn the output back off. I can select the slider in velocity control. The slider goes to 10, so a maximum of 10. And I want a maximum velocity of 2 revolutions per second. I can turn the output back on. As you can see, the motor speed increases and decreases with the slider. Now I want to use the velocity control with the load cell. This is now at 36, 37, so I will put the minimum at 40. 
and the maximum at the thousands. The maximum output, I will leave this at two revolutions per second. So now I can turn the output back on. And when I press the load cell, you will see the input value increase and the motor will still also start rotating. And when I let go, the motor will also stop rotating. There is also a thermistor that's located here at the front. So yeah, that was it for this video. You can find the link to the code and the schematics in the description. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments below. Please consider subscribing and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.